fucking Lawrence. Hook four plus GPS sounder. Personally, that's ran by um uh battery in here. It's FPV power, 15 volt, 17.5 amp. And power, that's just ran by in here. And by a little cord that goes back to like a little hole. That's in the back and that fits perfectly in there. Even chuck some pliers and stuff on the side, whatever. Well, the goods. Then I've got room for my bag back here. That's where I put it all, back in here. And then, yeah, I got room back here. I put a towel, life jacket, anchor. That's a big plus when you go out. And see if you're using bait and stuff like that. Then I've got a little dry bag in here that's got rope in it so I can tie up the pylons. Headlamp that I can use for um, nighttime fishing. That's what I mainly use it for. Got some glasses in there, polarized ones so I can see the fish. And yeah, I got my scent that sits in there. But yeah, this is ran through the back through here. I've got a little bracket that's mounted back down through here. Then it goes into here, and then I can take this out. And in there, that's where the things are rigged up, actually. I'll put my lamp in here. That's rigged up from in there, you can see that. And that just goes basically back down there, and all into the back. So that's that. So basically when I'm fishing, I got my seat here, and then I've also got my mount at the front. Just sitting there on a little GoPro mount with like a little bracket just so I can twist it side to side. And I can just like up, down and stuff. I can just twist it to the front. And I'm probably going to eventually put a mount here to face up. So yeah, basically that. Just to go back in, you basically just put that in there. Push down on it. That's that. I've got a little got some Holt production stickers on the side of it. Big fan of that little and then I got my lip grips is chilling here and sitting there. Rod holder, got another rod holder there. And underneath here you usually put the car snap or um just anything. But it does fill up a little bit of water down there from water coming into the kayak. It obviously just um goes back down to the and then, yeah, I got, you know, towel stuff. I'm always hooked up onto the side, so how it comes normally. The bung used to run into the back down there, so I was still run around it. And, yeah, that's clear. That's how it used to run, but I used to get water leakage all through here and fill up to about here. Fill up pretty high in the back, so I had to fix that. Got a little anchor point, so I can anchor up. Put my stuff high on Anchor rope there. So that's an anchor that sits underneath the seat. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty good kayak. It's probably a good one to start off with. Then yeah, you move up. So that's that now, move up to the fishing gear. So first thing to start off with, I got a 3000 Vance fitter. And that's rigged up with a Samaki Stitch X carbon fiber technology. Then it is seven seven foot rod, six to twelve pound, one fourth one ounce. So that's that. That's that rod. Then we'll move over to my more of like brim white rod, but really like yeah. That's the front. This is just the. Savage GS squad rod with the Sedona 2500. And then the rates of this rod is 7 foot 2 to 4 kilo. That's that rod. That now for the bottom row, I got a Stratic FG 4000. Then I got a Kato rod. Not sure if that's the right name for it or what. Six foot, six point six foot rod, two to four kilo. 
That's that one, that's the more bigger jewelries and stuff. Got my bait caster for Bass and Jack. So this is a Abu Garcia combo, Pro Max, Next Generation. See that? Generation. Um, Interceptor. The This rod is five foot six. And then five, no. And then six to eight kilo rod. That's my jack combo. This is just a spare one I got for flatties and stuff, whatever. Bait. This is just a Daiwa Air 2500 at the power knob reel. Then it's a Savage Gear Black. Two to four kilo spin. Spin combo. Rod is 7.7 .7 foot two. Three to five kilo lure rod. I use that for throwing plastics and everything. They're all around these are all around decent reels for the price. But my personal favourite is the Stratic and the Bait Caster. Yep, now I'll move on to all my lures. So I've got a fair three lures that we have to go through. I'll start from the top and work my way down. So first of all I've got this little thing here. I'll sit down so I can show you guys. So first of all I've got this Daiwa bag that I got for like 10 bucks or something. Always the lid there properly in there. So first I got these Brat 65 lures. They're really good for brim and stuff, flatties. I got some Z-Man opening night um, drinks of them. Then I got some uh, opening no, diesel minnows, three inch. Mm, more diesel minnows in pink, three inch. Got some Pro Lua clone forms there in the uh, I think it's 62 millimeter size. Got white diesel minnows 3 inch. And I got some MMD soft prawns. And I got opening light sun swims. So my favorite for jewelries and stuff. And I got whole productions of um, white spot um, swim prawns. And I got blood worms um, swim prawns. They're 3 inch as well. Got some Daiwa bait junkies. There's the pack, sample pack. Then I got um, some little grubs. Then my favourite for um, corn and stuff. And now we'll move on to the other stuff, stuff that isn't packaged. So first of all, we'll start off with this little container. So in this container, I have. So I've got a little, got a jackal screw, double clutch, jackal screw, good for bass and stuff. This little one, little double clutch I got is really good for flatties. And I got this Daiwa Slippery Dog, good for lighting, broom, whatever. You got some little random little that use for pike. So, and I got some pike, we got some jewelries and stuff. Then I got MMD Slash Prawn, they kill off too for flatties. They're really good, I like those. And I got the Smarky foam box. So I got a double clutch, 75, no, 95, forgot what the color was. I got an OSP bent minnow, forgot what size that was. Got some more little pike lures, help it up some swim minnows, swim minnow, three inch. Don't know what they are 100%, but it's like that. We got a little um, vibe. The little MMD soft prawn and then the bigger splash prawn. Then on this side I got a uh, load of jig heads. I'm trying out the new um, Daiwa Bait Junkie jig heads. Getting to give them a go. I got some pink ones and then a uh, smarky vibe. Really good for vibes on these bridge. I love using them under um, Jabiru Island Bridge. They're my favourite for that. Now I move on to some Z-Man. I got these Z-Man minnows, the deal. Three inch, apple wave. <laughs> then I got some Daiwa Bait Junkie, three point two inch minnows in the Demon Blood color, good for jacks. Uh, Holt Production, three inch white, white flash, yeah, white flash. They're really good for everything all around the killer on the broom. Got the three inch, three point two five inch swim minnow white bait color, really good. 
Got some swim crab jig heads. Got some normal jig heads for the hulk prawns. We got the crabs and the two inch crabs boy swimmer. And I got um, UV motor oil crabs, two inch again. Love my two inch <laughs> crabs. And then I got three inch swim prawns, ghost, ghost prawn. They're really good too, three inch again. Move up to here. And I got these for jigging sea life or jewelies, whatever. Whatever takes them. Got some opening night minnows of fun light on. But I use these for bass and everything. Good for flighties too, three inch opening night. Uh, now I got these. These are minnows pearl, three inch again. Love them for everything. This is some this heavy leader for seaway. This is actually seven, no, 60 pound leader. Use that for rigs, for jewelies and stuff. Big, big jewelies in the seaway. Got some gulp, Berkeley gulp um, worms. Yeah, they're decent. We got them in a bag because um, the teams, they tend to leak. Then I got more three inch white spot. I love my three inch white spots as well. And then also I got some 360 GT Coastal Storm lures. Don't know what's, I think these are watermelon or something. I'm not too sure, but that's what they look like. Yeah, they mouth a little bit. Got some Savage Gear Curly Tails. Never really use them. Bought them because I got them on sale from the cheap then at BCA. Now I've got some prawns. The three inch um, scented serums. Prawns, whatever they are, natural color. Now I've got the really big vibes of Seaway to Julie's once again. I love my Julie fishing. Then I got this for more stuff for the Jabiru Bridge, whatever I use it for. I got three of these in all different sizes. These Pro Lua um, vibes too, they're good. These are little whiting, that on like a little, little, little jig head. Top them off on the sand flats. And I also got the Bait Junkie Grubs, four inch. I prefer, I forgot them, like two, three inch, but yeah. The other little sample pack that came in the bar Bait Junkie bag I got. And then Dawa Bait Junkie Minnows. I've caught, actually, in 3.2 units, you caught a load of flathead on these. Highly recommend. Now, these lures here are more bigger ones for bigger fish out deep. Hopefully, get some out deep videos going on soon. The poppers. Really big one. Frenzy. Massive jig to drop down the middle of the seaway. Which I personally love doing on the seaway on a calm day. Calm day is really good for fishing. If I only have a small boat in the seaway, I'd highly recommend it, but you gotta be careful out there though, because it can change that quick. Yeah, it's not funny how change it tides and stuff, and all the waves can change. So it's got a ton of little vibes. I got them off eBay, for like cheap. I've got some Kmart vibes, more little vibes in here, like a little weird little sugar pen type of thing for Use that for pike. Load of pike on those. I've got some extra. I love they're called trebles. Got some hooks, octopus ones. I got more of those up. It's mainly just for lures. This video I'm doing. Then more things. At least like two bucks at um BCF and had the cheap bin. I was like going there. You can find decent stuff in there. Massive swim baits. <laughs> Thought I'd just buy it. Just look cool. Brought this, brought this ages ago. Looked good, so I thought I'd buy it. <laughs> and I got, yeah, massive thing to see where you get or whatever you want to go for. Then, got more vibes. Yeah, it's basically a bunch of everything in here. Squid jigs, more stuff, yeah. More stuff in the boat, but it's just my main stuff I take with me in the kayak. This is just a kayak video. Yeah, got some little sinkers in there. That's basically all for the lures type of thing. So it's basically all of my lures here. All of them. It's a kayak. Alright guys, um.